And so, uh, but yeah, so yeah, so what uh, for for ninety stuff? Like, what what were certain what were some of your favorite shows from the nineties? I loved pretty much everything on Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon. But like, my absolute favorites were SpongeBob, nineteen ninety nine SpongeBob. Okay. Um, obviously, like Hey Arnold was one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. Um, All Real Monsters. I was a little bit younger for that one, okay. but I still loved it. Rocco's Modern Life. Okay, so like the Nicktoons, mm-hmm. like when they started in the early nineties, was like Doug and yes, Doug. Rugrats mm-hmm. and Ren, I, Ren and Stimpy seems it blows my mind that that show got made and and shown like that seemed like a show that would have been totally like Cartoon Network, not like Adult Swim, not yeah. not uh, not Nickelodeon, not you know for kids. Mm-hmm. But I also love too like the the family sitcoms like Full House. I loved Full House, Fresh okay. Prince of Bel Air. Fresh Prince was one uh-huh. of my favorites. Um, just stuff like that. It and. We played out, outside all the time as kids, mm-hmm. but I grew up with really, really strict parents. Mm-hmm. And so that's what I did most of the time was just watch cartoons. So Okay. And they didn't monitor what you watched or they just no. figured? <laughs> as long as we were inside the house and not outside. Interesting. They didn't really care. So I guess, I guess back then maybe TV was a little more, uh, it was produced to be not at, like you didn't have things like Adult Swim. You didn't have stuff that might have been not okay for younger viewers it was like if it was on nickelodeon you trusted it yeah kind of thing so or even shows that were on like like i can't remember what channel it was on but like batman the animated series mm-hmm. or um loved batman by the way yeah loved it. <laughs> that was yeah that was a great you know great great show you know r.i.p to kevin conroy or who, who passed away a couple years ago mm-hmm. but um or, you know, other shows like, I think there was like, you know, Gargoyles and... Loved Gargoyles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, that's, I think that's when, well, really Disney, but that's when my love for like big, strong arms and chest okay. came. Well, I get, it probably came from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> oh, not, oh, really? <laughs> I loved Beauty and the Beast. Still one of my favorite movies of all time. Okay. But, like, Do you prefer when, him in beast mode? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. You're like, when he turned into a human, you're like, I'm done. Yeah, I was like, Take oh, come away. on. He was hotter as a beast. <laughs> but not just that. Like, Gaston was super sexy. Asshole, but super yeah, sexy. Yeah, diff- yeah, yeah. When he, like, goes like that and he goes, in every last bit of me covered in hair. I remember being like, "Ooh, oh, I love there, hair. There you I go. I love hair. And he's <laughs> so hot. Just an asshole, but still yeah. sexy. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, maybe a scene idea right there. You get, get a, you know, somebody dress up like Gaston. Oh. And do something, you know. <laughs> Maybe the beast. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, in your Belle's costume. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, no, it's 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 weird how how just I don't know, it just seems if TV and all that stuff now just seems so soulless. Like it just seems like there's no actual inspiration behind it. I feel like it's just how can we make money versus before it yeah. was how can we do what we love and then make, make money? money? Yeah. And now it's just how can we make money? Yeah. And so you don't have the the same kind of you know processes that that I think went into like pitching a show and it's more just like okay what what property can we uh, you know mm-hmm. bring in mm-hmm. and it's just I don't know like that's that's something where it like don't get me wrong I get the nostalgia from it but it's like I I'm an adult now I don't really need the stuff to be remade to kind of revisit that mm-hmm. like one of my other favorite cartoons it came out. Um, later in the 2000s, I don't know if you've heard of Adventure Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've heard, no. I never saw it, but uh, I highly recommend it. Well, okay, if you're a stoner, I guess maybe that's why I love it. <laughs> um, but um, it's just very original too. Like it's mm-hmm. just got originality to it, and it's hilarious. And I just miss that when people just loved what they did yeah. and wanted to share it. You know. I think one of the one of the more modern examples of a show that's been successful and kind of a, is uh, Rick and Morty, mm-hmm. which you know that seems like a uh, you know really popular and does really outrageous, funny things. Although you know they take like two years in between making seasons, mm-hmm. which I think gets a little frustrating. It's a little too long because <laughs> you're just like, all right, I'm kind of over this now. Yeah, you gotta keep going while it's still hot. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, the same thing with like shows like Game of Thrones. They would take like two years off from a season and you kind of lose interest and you, or you forget kind of what, what, what was happening. I'm the probably only person in the entire world that has never seen one episode of game of Thrones. I have not never. either. Okay. So there's two are. of us. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it, it was, I don't know. It just never really interest, I guess, cause I didn't have HBO, mm-hmm. you know, but now knowing that the ending people hated so much and that the last couple seasons are not great. 
it's almost like, eh, why bother? Yeah, that's how I felt with Dexter. I loved Dexter, but just the ending was so like, okay, <laughs> you didn't give us what us loyal fans were looking for, like closure. Yeah. And then they waited so long to make the final season. Yeah, right. The, the revival that yeah. was like kind of the apology for messing up the original yeah, ending that it was like hey now it's been too long i don't even care anymore yeah. you know yeah a lot of shit happened in between all that that i got over it so. exactly yeah and you're you're you moved on to other things and I, I i won't spoil the end i mean i i stopped in season the last season i saw dexter was the john lithgow season mm-hmm. uh so i think that was season four um but but yeah like just i don't know and that's and to me that's the problem with tv shows in general is tv that's why I like cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> they're only 11 minutes per episode. Mm-hmm. And even if they end not making any sense, they're hilarious. So. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of TV, though, now is serialized. So it's like every episode plays into is the chapter of a bigger story. Whereas older TV used to be every episode was a standalone story. Mm-hmm. So you could watch like random episodes here and there. And you didn't have to worry about having to watch the entire series to Like understand. Seinfeld. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. Which you can pop into a Seinfeld episode anytime, mm-hmm. you know, or, um, you know, Friends or, you know, like The X-Files, which is one of my favorite shows growing up. Um, I liked um, Are You Afraid of the Dark? That was I my remember scary that. Yeah, I remember, yeah, I remember that on Nickelodeon. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was one of those, like, uh, you know, creepy... But, you know, they couldn't go too crazy with it. But, yeah, no, that was... That For was a, kids, though, back then, that, that was, was scary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, that was that was a... They did some really good stuff with atmosphere and, and everything back then. So, but that... But, again, like, that was... You, you said that now and people would be like, oh, let's do another Are You Afraid of the Dark show? And just do it with, like, a bunch of CG and it would be just... I don't know. It's just a different time.